we must work on the self-reform of thought. The intelligence of the future must be an intelligence of transformation. Plasticity is a biological concept that has become a political and philosophical concept. Thinking is an exercise in plasticity. Our brain is a plastic factory. It is a mass of protoplasm that transforms itself according to the intellectual and emotional life we live. The point of philosophy is not to impose our will on things but to learn how to read them. Plasticity means being subject to alteration by an external force, but also having the capacity to alter ourselves. Thinking is not a state of being, but an act of becoming. In philosophy, it is not a matter of explaining the world, but of discovering how the world explains itself. Philosophy must find a way to renew itself in order to keep up with the movements of the world. Philosophy is an art of living, not just a theory. We must learn to think differently, to think beyond the dominant modes of thought that have brought us to this crisis point. Philosophy is a search for truth, but truth is always in motion. Philosophy is not a discipline, but an activity of thought. Our capacity to think is always in excess of what we have already thought. The future of philosophy is in plasticity, in our ability to transform ourselves and our world. We must learn to think with and not just about the brain. Philosophy must confront the question of its own limits and its own plasticity. We need a philosophy that is capable of thinking the crisis we are in, a philosophy that is equal to the task of transformation. We must learn to think beyond our own subjectivity, beyond our own limitations, in order to discover new ways of thinking and new modes of being. Plasticity is the capacity for transformation, for renewal, for the creation of the new.